Countdown, countdown, countdown time. We got about three hours to the game. We got about three hours to the game. And I've been listening. I've been listening to WIP. I've been, I've been listening to y'all. I've been reading y'all comments. Why are y'all so nervous? Don't be nervous. I'm going to give you about three to five good reasons why you shouldn't be nervous going into this game. Number one, Jalen Hurts. But uh, we're going to talk more about it in a minute. Yo, that safety. The unraced Swift. Boy, can he wiggle. That boy is nice. AJ Zero, that boy nice. You're, you're, yo, that man, you know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy, Philly Fresh. AKA the general here report for duty. Listen, if you have not done it, make sure you hit that sub button that's right down there. there wait, 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 there you go. Yes, and also, it is a bell next to it to let you know to put up all this flavor notification gang. Yo, that gang. Yo, that. What's going on? Ah, please hit the like button for your boy. However, the algorithm works. More people get to see me, more people get to see the merch. Yes, the merch is jumping off the shelves. I appreciate all of y'all for copping up. Uh, like I said, when y'all cop up, make sure that y'all send me a picture and I will put it in the link. I mean, in a video, uh, fresh fact today, fresh fact today is sometimes you can just get beat. And this is going into the video. Sometimes you can just get beat just mentally before you even touch the field, before you, whatever you doing, but before you step on the court, just period, you can get beat mentally and this is what the Philadelphia Eagles ain't having. They ain't doing. We understand it's the Kansas City Chiefs. They supposed to be the new Patriots. They supposed to be this and they supposed to be that. But yet and still, we have a better record. Yet and still, our averages and scoring are better. Yet and still, we run the ball better, even though we've been, we've been slacking a little bit on running the ball. So here's a couple things why you need to understand that the Philadelphia Eagles will and it should and will come out victorious against the Kansas City Chiefs tonight. First of all, everybody was talking about the turnovers. Remember that? Remember everybody saying Jalen Hurts needs to calm down on the turnovers. He need to calm down on the picks. They don't say that no more. You want to know why? Because Patrick Mahomes has the same amount of picks. Less touchdowns, more throwing touchdowns, 17 or 22, right? But still, he has eight interceptions, and they're not talking about turnovers anymore. Because everybody want to crown Patrick Mahomes, yada, yada, yada. See, don't it's media manipulation. Do not let the media manipulate you. That's why I'm here. We ain't having it. Okay. Number two. Number two. You are getting two key guys back, in my opinion. The reason that the run game has been taking a dip, because Cam Jurgis has been out for the last four or five weeks. Go look at, go look at the averages and the yards that DeAndre Swift um had when. Cam Jurgis was playing and look at him now. I think it was we was up to like 5.3. Now we now we down to like 3.1. That is two yard, two yards of carry. That's a lot. That's almost a that's almost a first down every three, every three, uh, three carries. So when you look at it, I think the return of Cam Jurgis is going to be big. Um and getting Roby back. We understand who Roby is. Roby is a guy that came into the second half for the Los Angeles game when Cooper Cup was just, he was just tearing us up. It was nothing that we can really do. But Sean Desai, he uh he put he he put Roby into the game and a lot of things changed. They scored literally zero points after he put Roby into the game. Zero. So to me, not saying you're going to stop Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey is going to get his, just like C.D. Lamb got his the last game that we played. But you neutralize the other guys. You, you, I think you'll be more disciplined in the middle with a field, with a with a Cunningham and a Zach Morrow. I think you'll be more disciplined. So we're going to see that. Um, another thing is why you shouldn't be. I'm not saying don't be worried. I'm saying don't be scared. Here's why you shouldn't be scared. The last time we seen the Kansas City Chiefs offense, they put up 14 points. They put up 14 points. We haven't put up 14 points since the, since the loss to the Jets. They put up 14 points. Now, the score was different. It's 21 to 14, but they got a defensive, um, a, a, a defensive touchdown, just like in the Super Bowl. If Jalen Hurst and, and the rest of the and the rest of the committee, um, AJ Brown. Uh, Devontae Smith, everybody, you are going to, you, you, all you got to do is protect the ball. Don't get them short fields. This this defense has 
the players to be able to contain a Patrick Mahomes run offense right now because their offense was better last uh, uh, last year. And yes, they did win 38, uh, 38, 35, but still being, you didn't, couldn't get after the quarterback. And I'm not going to get into um, the field situation, but that really is number, number three of the fact of, it's no field situation to where as though these guys are going to be slipping, drawing, and falling. You don't think it's odd that the number one sack team and number three overall team in sacks couldn't get to Patrick Mahomes because everybody was everybody was falling. Reddick couldn't get get his foot in. Um, Hargrave couldn't get his foot in. But I think now you are going to see these guys get after Patrick Mahomes. Now Patrick Mahomes, he's slippery. He definitely slick it in a can of oil when it's spilled. But I'm going to say this. You got an opportunity to get after him, especially if you contain those wide receivers and you bracket Jason Kelsey. I mean, uh, Jason, sorry. And you bracket Travis Kelsey, right? Number four, and then we out of here. Number four is the weather condition. Number four is the weather condition. It's going to be cold. It's going to be 25 miles an hour wind. To me, we are the better running team, and you will see that with the um, with, with Cam Jurgis coming back. The weather to me is going to play. It's going to play a real dynamic in this game, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I don't know how long the wind is going to be, what it's going to be, but it's going to, it's, it, it's going to play its part, and it's going to cause us to run the ball more. You're going to see more short routes, and. I don't care what uh, my man from Kansas City, the cornerback, said they're not putting up 35. I don't care about 35. I care about a W. All you got to do is go out there and score more points than them, and you win. So what are you going to say that? Uh, that's really it. I'm going to give you all my score prediction. My score prediction, I do think it's going to be lower than – I'm going I'm, I'm to say 27-24 Eagles. I think it's going to be – in the third quarter, it's going to be handled. Like, we're we're going to have the game in our hands. And then Patrick Mahomes, we, we already know he's great. He's going to make a late run, get a late touchdown, and it's going to look closer than what it is. But I do think we dominate in the second quarter. I understand the Andy Reid thing about him being 28-3 um, and three coming off a of bye. But do you know, fresh fact for y'all, y'all get a treat. I give y'all another fresh fact. Do you know that he is... Three and two. So two of those losses came off of when the other team had to buy also. And let's not forget Nick Sirianni, he ain't lose, he ain't, he ain't lose yet coming off a of buy. So let's just not crown these guys right now and made a better team win. Y'all already know. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.